So you can see that the kingdom of God is this white side and the kingdom of Satan is this shaded side. And some of the categories of the created world are going down in the middle. So we have the church, the family, politics, business, art, education, journalism, thought, emotion, plants and animals, inanimate matter. And the list would go on for a very long time, right? And so instead of there just being a line and saying the church is part of the kingdom of God and all the rest is really like doesn't matter. It's part of the kingdom of Satan. What Walter says is that the line is constantly moving back and forth because both Christ and Satan are laying claim to all of the creation. So at times the church is not really functioning the way God intended it to be. And so the kingdom of Satan will have more sway over the church. But at other times, it's functioning more like how God meant it to be. So the kingdom of God is holding more sway over the church. The same thing goes for family, politics, business, on and on and on. So there's this constant dispute. And our job as Christians is to push the line, to push um, forward the line of the kingdom of God and how well we are living in whatever area we um, have any sway or authority in. Um, wherever we, we kind of live, whatever neighborhoods we live in, um, we're supposed to live more and more according to God's plan and God's design. And therefore, we are showing Christ's kingship over all areas of the creation. And we're not just giving in and letting Satan hold sway. All right, so Walters uses a military metaphor to describe the clash between the kingdoms. So he's saying that a true battle is being waged for the kingship of the world. So Christ versus Satan. Um, so even though we know that the ultimate war has been won by Christ, the champion on the cross, we know that there are still battles and smaller skirmishes going on in every area of the world. And God has given us as humans the honor of hopefully showing him and bringing glory to him and showing his greatness by giving us the chance to try to like fight some of these battles with his help in the world now um, for as long as this world shall be and as long as we shall live. In Colossians 2.8, it says, See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the basic principles of this world rather than on Christ. So don't get taken prisoner by um, an unbiblical worldview. Make sure that your worldview is biblical. In summary, Walters is saying that a reformed worldview teaches us that creation is bigger than we ever thought it was. Sin goes deeper and is more pernicious than we ever thought it was. Remember, it's even in the church. It's even in the family. It's even in our own hearts. But God's glories are known as far as the curse is found. So may God bless you as you think through these things. May he encourage you and give you great ideas on how to creatively live out his kingship over the creation. And we will have one more class on this book um, after this next week. So hopefully I'll see you then. God bless. Bye.